the following footage is mostly archival. Uh, mostly comes down to uh, working on some stuff and finding old files and wanting to bring it out. So, uh, as it stands, uh, some of this footage may not reflect exactly what I think or believe, and this project didn't turn out the way I wanted it, um, or anything. Uh, thoughts and opinions probably have changed graciously. I felt like I held back, so here is the Broforce project. So, um, I guess I would say enjoy, but uh, I didn't really much enjoy it while I was doing it. So, all right, goodbye. Ha! <laughs> Just got this spike right at the beginning. Ha! Ha! So, this is Petty Officer Phallus. And it's Ernan Auger here. And today, in the Broforce Saga, we watched Conan. The whole series it was Conan, Conan the Destroyer, and then Conan the Barbarian 2011 remake. Yeah, the one with Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Momoa. Most of you probably know him from Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it. Don't give a shit. Aquaman. He's gonna be Aquaman. Aquaman. Gonna be dope. So, like, what do we say right away? The Conan the Destroyer, the first one. The no the Barbarian's the first one. Yeah, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, you just destroy it. Oh fuck off! <laughs> so, Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Arnold's like third movie. <laughs> no, he had a whole bunch. Of, he started in 1970. Oh gross! So one of his only <laughs> one of his first good movies. <laughs> Because he was also in, like, Hercules of New York or yeah, something. Yeah, that's his first <laughs> film, though. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. I, we should watch that. No. No. Oh, okay. God, no. So, <laughs> Conan the Destroyer... Or Conan the Barbarian. God damn it. <laughs> um, what can I say? Like, it's... If you... I think most people have seen the first Conan. I, I barely talk to anybody who's actually seen Conan. Really? Yes. Huh. It is it is such a monumentally known thing that he did play Conan, but like absolutely no one I can name off the pen the street is like, yeah, that is like one Arnold movie I know of, but nobody's seen. Oh, it's it's kind of like Rocky, where people are like, oh, I know, I know of Rocky, I know but I've never Stallone seen played Rocky. Rocky, but I've never seen. It. It's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, so it starts off where he's in a in his village, his his village of. Uh, Oh yeah, they didn't, they didn't. They didn't say Sumerian until yeah, fucking. They, they didn't. So he's in a village, and these boys come rolling in and start fucking up the place. <laughs> boys, <laughs> yeah, dog. And they have this weird banner of like two snakes facing like a weird setting sun bullshit. They they described it weird. It was mm. just like yes, a dark moon and a dark sun between betwixt two snakes joining together. And I'm like. Cool. It's like a circle, and then a sun, and then like two and then snake like, heads, and then like one. It's like a cat dog snake with two snake heads. Yeah. So, um, they come up and fuck the place up. And they all got horns. Uh, yeah, they all have horns on their helmets, which is dumb. So they all come fucking <laughs> up the place. Um, and Conan's dad and mom are protecting him, and his dad gets, gets dad killed. goes first. His dad gets killed, and they corner his mom, who's protecting Conan. And she has a sword. She like, raises it up. Yeah, and tries to defend himself. And then one of the bad guys, um, who is James Earl fucking Jones, <laughs> so is, fucking first of all, weird. Man, picks up Conan's his dad's sword and like points it at him. And he's like, it, "There's this weird. It's a weird scene because like it looks like he's not gonna kill her." And they have this weird touching moment. She lowers her sword. And he turns around. It's and as soon as he turns around, he like does a quick one eighty and chops her head off. And he just stands there, like yeah, holding his bo- mom's body's hand as her head falls, and just yeah, like it's kind of weird. Oof. So they take him in chains with like a bunch of the other kids, and they go marching, 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 and they, and they push a wheel. For then they 30 push years. a wheel for a while, because um, like he's a little boy, and I don't know what the fuck this wheel is. Maybe it's a a flour mill. I don't know. It's not fucking whatever. It doesn't really fucking matter. I don't know what those wheels are. They're, they're so they're put, he's pushing the wheel, and in the beginning, there's like a bunch of other kids, and then it slowly like shows him getting bigger. Like you can't see his full body yet, but you can see like his legs are getting bigger, his feet are getting bigger, and it's just it, it's just him pushing this big fucking wheel for like ever. It's like twenty years or some shit. And and then he's the only one left. And he's the only one left. 
one of the slave drivers comes and like, come, come with me, and sits him down in front of another dude, but they don't do anything, and then nightfall hits, so he, he was like sitting there for like fucking like hours, because it was daytime and then it was yeah, nighttime. Whatever. And he finds out it's an arena pit, and they get down there, and he's... He's not super comfortable because he's never like fought before quite yet. And, and the guy goes up there and then, bites him. And yeah, the guy tries to Mike Tyson him, and uh, it doesn't work. He kills him, and that's when like Conan starts he, finding his self worth basically because this he, is the he, first time anybody's ever cheered for him, stuff like that. He fights the underground, yeah. and then like it's they this tr- fight club. They it, they fight club him, and then he's like, "Yes, he's defeated all everybody opponents." And so he's like, now we must go to the east and train. And yeah. so he goes to the east, learns to read, fucks a girl. Also, how does he learn how to read? Like, does he self... Like, it's they not- keep him in a cage and treat him like an animal. And he's like, reading Sun Tzu. And he's like, but he's like yeah, whatever. Yeah, because he's like, um, oh, read, reading and writing is not available. It's like, did he teach him... Whatever, who gives a shit, right? And so he's learning from the, the Easterner's form of fighting, which is like Kendo... Which is it's it's kind of cool. Like he's doing like stances for like kendo and shit. He's wielding a katana. It's kind of neat. And the trainer hits some random dude. Yeah, because you know because of reasons. Just like oh okay. Um. Uh, oh god, what did are we they... like not remembering this movie already? <laughs> right. Uh, it's just like the movie kind of blurs together in certain points, which is unfortunate. Um, There's a lot of like training and build up to his origin, so it's just like yeah okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, for some reason, after he gets done training, this dude, I don't know if he's drunk or whatever, he's cuts like, his go. chain, he's like, you're free, yeah, go! You're free! Um, he's like, oh, and he starts running off, and he meets a witch, which, well, you don't know she's a witch right away, but he's like, No, he you falls in a hole. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, he falls in the hole, and finds a statue of, I, we're presuming is Grom, which is, like, their god. Yeah, because he was told by his dad, he's like, you believe in Krom. Grom, yeah. Grom. Krom, who gives a shit? Anyway, so he finds a sword there because he's being chased by wolves or something. And then he shit. escapes the hole. And he that's escapes the, the, that's yeah. the entire point of that scene. Yeah, he gets a sword and escapes the hole. I love he just a, exclaims that it's Krom every time something happens. There's, there's happens. a few weird instances where it's like. Krom! It's like, this is unexplainable. Krom! A it's, thing it's, happened! Krom! So. He My runs, butthole tight. Krom. So he runs off, and there's a lady in a doorway, and she's, she's purdy. And she's like, "You want to come in and warm yourself by the fire?" And he's like, he says some some stupid shit, whatever. And then he goes in, and she's like, "There was a prophecy," and blah 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 blah. So he starts fucking her, and she and turns into a spirit demon. Thingy. She she turns like feral, and so he kills her, and her spirit like. And so runs he fucks away. her more while she, while yeah, she's yeah, yeah, of spirit, and like, he throws her into the fire. Yeah, what else are you gonna do? Duh. So he throws her into the fire. She dies or whatever. She her spirit releases. He still sleeps in that house for some fucking reason. I mean, I've heard him pump and talk, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Don't steal my fucking joke that I told you during the goddamn movie. <laughs> Fuck you. So, <laughs> he leaves the house in the morning, and there's a dude chained to the wall. He's like, who who are you? And they start talking for a while. The guy's basically food for the dog. She hasn't eaten for a while. And Conan's like, yeah, fuck it, I'll free you. No, nah, I need a rogue. Yeah, yeah, that's what you it, said. It, it's basically like, yeah. It was like, oh, what do you do? Well... <laughs> Sorry. So, Blech. he's a thief or whatever. And my, my response was like, oh, so we got a barbarian robe. Hell yeah. So, we need, we need clear, he, man. Really, he releases them and whatnot. And they go on their adventure. They, go they start gay, talking. It's like gay adventure montage with him and his rogue best friend. <laughs> yeah, they kind of skip through the landscape, which is weird, but and whatever. Then, and then they It's not like a full-blown skip, but it's kind of, it's kind of skippy. Yeah. they. That's pretty much like... Them is that they just like oh well he builds up that he has friends and he talks to people and, and so they <clears throat> they go to the city and they start you know fucking around um, they're looking for the snake symbol because that's the guy who killed his parents whoa <laughs> wacky and one of the guys in there is like oh it's there we don't have no that symbol but there is a snake tower there's a snake cult that their tower is there. And he, then he sells them some, like, lotus root or some bullshit. Anyway, he gets, I don't know if he's high or drunk, but they're, like, <laughs> running around, and... They bump then into he, a camel. Then he punches a camel. He bumps into it, and he's like, ah! Fucking he immediately just, decks it. Just haymakers his camel. He's like, dude, what the fuck? What a dick. 
So they sleep it off or whatever, and then that night they go to scale... Uh, they go to the, the snake palace area, and yeah. there's a lady there, and she's like, like they have their dr- swords drawn, they're like, you're no guard, she's like, neither are you, what are you here for? I'm like, I want to get in there, and she's like, same. Yeah, you didn't even bring rope. You didn't even bring rope. So, they're best friends now, because of course, movie. We've learned from Boondock yeah. Saints, it's important to bring rope. It's important to bring rope, guys. So they scale the thing, um, the rogue doesn't use the rope, he just climbs it, free climbs, which is pretty dope. They climb up that shit. They get inside the snake castle. And the lady gets on the first level and she's like looking at these uh, <clears throat> priestesses. priestesses and this dude. Yeah. And she's like, go down below, see what's down there. So Conan and the rogue go down there. And down there is a sewer type area. And so they're adventuring and whatnot and they crawl through a hole. Well, in the hole is a jewel on a pedestal and a really, really shitty snake. A big snake wrapped really, around it. Yeah, really shitty CGI. Or I think it might have been practical effects. That was not CGI. Dude, it, it was practical. It was shitty, though. It was 82, dude. They it was, didn't do CGI. It was like a really shitty paper mache snake. Anyway, so they, they steal it, obviously, and... I think they're stealing other stuff, weren't they? I don't know. I just remember the big gem. They steal the big gem. They go to walk out. And, uh oh, the snake got up. So they fight the snake. And they kick the snake's ass pretty good. Pretty silently, might I add. Because, like, it's not even... It's it's probably maybe like a two-story drop to from one floor to the next and the other girls up top with all well, the priestesses well, the floor is 10 feet because the story is 10 feet so it'd be like a 10 so foot drop it wasn't 10 feet that was it looked a lot deeper so yeah they probably went down two stories but yes yeah but that's what I was did I say two stories or one you said one okay yeah no but like the the priestesses are preparing for their sacrifice fucking Thing altar above. where they're just gonna push somebody into the fucking pit well, no, they're not going to push her. She's just going to walk off the edge. Yeah. And she's supposed to be eaten by the snake, but, like... So, yeah. So, Conan and the thief skedaddle out of there. And, meanwhile, then it cuts up to fr- up there where they're doing the ritual and whatnot. And the main head guy is there. And, and like, the drop. girl shivs him. Yeah. And then the, the lady falls down. And they're like, oh, no, the snake's dead. And then they escape. You know, they go up the rope and... Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, by the way, it's a pulley. Yeah, it's a pulley, which is... I don't... Correct us if I'm wrong, but... I, I didn't see a pulley the whole time, but like, yeah, basically she she shivs the dude, and then like another guy runs up to grab her, so she wraps a rope around him and kicks him down the, the well, and it pulleys her up. And I don't remember seeing a pulley until that point. So, this is real weird. So, they go back to the tavern, and they're having fun, they're celebrating, um... Conan gives the girl the big ass Julica, and they're like, "Oh, they're having a nice moment," and yeah. then they fuck. Yeah, he bones her then, right? Yeah. yeah, and it's like, "Oh, they're best friends now." I'm like, I guess. I thought he bones her afterwards. No, he gives her the like he she like moves her hand towards it to grab, it and she he grabs her hand, then he grabs it, the, and the then jewel, caresses her with like, it, caresses yeah, her with and then puts it in her hand and like closes. It's like, and then they later what? party a lot, and then they like he. They all get so drunk that he, like... He passes, passes out, out in soup. And so they he passes out while the guards show up. The guards arrest them and bring him to the king of the city. And he's like, Who dares do the blah, 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 blah. You and, guys are fucking stupid and arrogant. You destroyed the cult. And he's like, we, Yeah, we did. And then he's like, Good, I got something for you. And so he's like, Basically, this dude's daughter... About quest. Yeah, quest time. This dude's daughter is involved with the cult and he wants her back. So he's like, I will give you a fuck ton of money. He just has a like a goblet full of like Jewel. rubies. Rubies, yeah. He just rubies. dumps it out and it's like, all you can carry and then when you get back you'll get a bunch more monies. And they're like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And so um the downside is like it's at this weird wizard's castle and basically it's all blah 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 blah. Whatever. And then that night the the lady girl He's like, I don't think we should do this. I think we should just take the money they gave us and get the fuck out of here. And he's like, no, that's probably where the person who killed my family is because, you know, it's a snake symbol. 
Yeah. So they they sleep, but she wakes up and he's gone. Oh no! So Conan rides off into the sunset, whatnot. Uh, gets partway there and meets a wizard, a, a really strange character. It's funny. It's it's yeah. He just among this dead like village, and yeah. he's just the only thing that has life. And he's like really fucking weird. He's like, I like him. Ah! Get out of here! But he's like Conan and him strike it off pretty fa- pretty easily, and it's like, oh, why was that important? Important? That's weird. And so Conan obviously rides off further and goes to the cold. He trades for a camel and flowers. And flowers, yeah, yeah. And it's like, what a dick! He punched a camel before. Is this like reckon? Whatever. So they go off to. He goes off riding the camel to the main meeting area. And there's all these cultists and whatnot, blah 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 blah. He punches the dude and takes his takes his robes after a weirdly like. I think the priest might have been there. There was some homoerotic undertones there, and so it goes along, and they go to the main meeting place, and he hands the dude his amulet, which is the snake symbol, which shouldn't have because that got him caught. He gets his ass beat, and he wakes up in like this chamber, <clears throat> like an open open chamber. And they're that's beating what, the fuck out of him, right? Yeah, they yeah. choked him, and they yeah. Then he wakes up, and they're beating the shit out of him, and throw him in like a fountain to wash himself up. That's when James Earl Jones finally shows the, the fuck back up, and he's now the principal villain. And he's like, and you'll yeah. find out he's a fucking wizard. So, yeah, was, he's he, talking about all this stuff, blah blah blah. Not really important. Spoilers anyway. He's I, like, I, you're I, a I, barbarian. You believe like, in steel. I believe in flesh. Yeah, and he makes some girl like jump like four stories down. She just dies. He's like that's real power. It's like that's that's just fucking. I was like that's dumb. Anyway, so and he's like, without without me, you wouldn't be here anyway. And it's like, well, yes, that's technically true, but you're still a dick for killing his family. But he goes more into that dumb psychology yeah, he, he later. He goes more into that, and then he's like, well, it's a shame we had to kill you. So they crucify him. Which is crazy. Against a big-ass tree. Yeah, this is a big-ass tree. So they crucify the shit out of him. Um, then the rogue... Well, he has a hallucination of the rogue. Where he thinks it's a hallucination. He's like, oh, so he starts laughing after many days. Also, the bites. buzz... The he buzzards bites that the are just, buzzard. Yeah, these buzzards that are just around are fucking... What are they? Vultures, whatever. Yeah. Are, like, flying around and pecking him. And he's pretending to be asleep, I think. And the vulture is, like, biting him. And he just bites the vulture in the neck and kills it. I was like, oh. Oh, that's sweet. good. Sweet. Awesome. So, he has the hallucination of the rogue showing up. But the rogue actually does show up and they cut him down. And he rushes him to the wizard. Their old, the wizard dude that they, he met. And he's like, he's like on the breath of death. Like yeah. He's, he's fucking there. And so, the lady, Miss Lady Pants was like, can you help him? He's like, well I can, but the spirit's here intact at heavy price. And she's like, I'll pay it. And so, he paints all these weird symbols on him and whatnot. And does some chanting. And he's, she's like, well, it'll either happen tonight or later today. And so that night, these spirits try attacking him and whatnot, and they fight him off. And Conan arises in the morning fully restored. He doesn't have the holes in his hand or anything like that. He does some, some cool, like does a cool sword kata. Yeah. Then they go... In the morning, they take everyone and they go assault the keep again. Because now they have the full crew. Yay, yeah. Full party. So they dress up, they uh, get like stealth gear on like they, uh, like the black paint and shit. Oh, they assault, dude, they so assault the keep. Sick. I love this fucking scene. And so, yeah, they assault the keep and they get inside. And there's some weird music at first. It's like kind of upbeat, but then it goes into opera. It's weird. I find it very yeah, strange. At different times that they use this same score, it, it becomes upbeat at times. And it's like, this is a weird choice for yeah, you to it, create it's, this. It's upbeat for a few moments. And then it goes into more something epic, but it's like, for those few moments, like, this is super fucking weird. Anyway, so they, they go into this chamber, and it's like a big orgy room or fucking whatever. <laughs> These guys are transporting this liquid, and, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Because I, I, don't, I don't remember most of this movie. And it's just a big pot of soup. And I was like, what the fuck? And it looks like it has hands, like, there was a hand, a really real, shitty real, mannequin real hand. Real fake in. hand. And we're like, oh... And so they're trying to figure out a way to do that. It's the orgy cave, and there's bringing in hot soup, and then there's James Earl Jones at the top. Slowly, also, because like, I didn't realize it at first, like, what the fuck is happening? Because he looks weird. But, like, it's James Earl Jones first, and then, like, the next, the, next, the, the next time it cu- cuts back to him, he, like, he's closing his eyes, and his face elongates, 
I just had a long gate, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And a couple more cuts, and he turns into a goddamn snake and, like, slithers off. And it's so... Oh, it's... It looks great. It looks just real good. So... Looks just fucking... So, what happens next is they interrupt the orgy or whatever, uh, kicks the, the soup down... Yeah. And burns a bunch of stuff. And then and then fuck it. The next, oh, and then our two favorite characters show up. Dude, Metalhead... Uh, no, is it Motorhead and Judas Priest show up? Yeah, man, those guys show up and they... They get their asses kicked, but they don't die. They <laughs> they appear in a little bit, but... So basically they interrupt the orgy, they get the, the king's daughter, and they run off. And so... They're like, darn, that happened. Well, James Earl Jones... I've, I've figured out now is a fucking wizard... Grabs a snake, whispers into its face, seek, stretches, like, runs his fingers along the length of it, and it straightens out. And me and my friend here were just like, is he going to turn that thing into an arrow? And guess the fuck what? He turns it into a goddamn arrow and fires a snake arrow at... At, at Lady Barb. At, at, at Lady Barb. And it hits her. And it's like, oh my sweet Jesus. This fucking movie. That just happened. This is, this is fucking crazy. So they run off, they get Lady Barb back, back, and she's like, there was a spirit I had to pay, you know, whatever, I paid the, the I price. I paid the price. And he pulls the fucking snake out. It's not, like, rigid still, so it's like, as you pull it out, it's all, like, slithery, so I was like, it that's is, fucking weird. It, it would be the grossest fucking thing that you could probably do. Yeah. So, uh, James Earl Jones and his goons know where he is, so they're gonna mount an assault. Well, at the same time, Conan... Rogue Man and uh, Good Wizard. 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 Set up the ambush or whatnot. Like, they set up traps and whatnot and make it look like there's more people than there is. And. Which is cool. I, I thought it was a good neat scene. They, they did, like, a. We, we can get onto the, the fucking dumb complex trap a little bit. Yeah. So. Uh, the enemies are coming towards them and. Conan has this nice speech about how he praised a Grom, which he's never done before. In blah, like, blah. It's, it's it's a nice speech. I won't ruin it because it's something something that's nice to watch. Yeah, it's it's a it's a nice speech. So, the onslaught happens. A bunch of dudes show up. The most the moves that aren't important get their asses kicked. Obviously, especially like, Motorhead and Judas Priest. Well, they get their yes, fucking... but they're not mooks. They're special. They they're, die special. They have they have special hair. So, <laughs> the moose go down like ease like. Uh, Wizard dude killed a dude with a spear, which is sweet. Yeah, he's he was real happy um, about that. Rogue dude is shooting people with arrows. It's pretty sweet. And obviously Conan's going to fucking town with his sword. Well, Motorhead and Judas Priest show up. Well, Motorhead goes after Conan. Conan takes out his... Now. <laughs> Conan takes out Motorhead's uh, uh, horse. Fucking horse. Like he... And he has this big-ass hammer. And... Or is that Judas Priest? Judas Priest has the yeah, big Judas ass Priest hammer. Yeah, Judas Priest has the hammer, and he's yeah he's fighting Conan. So Judas Priest goes after him with the hammer, and he's like swinging, and Conan like dodges around a corner. Well, Judas Priest walks up, and he sees like a helmet or like a head. But, yeah, it was a helmet. It's a helmet, basically the same thing that Conan was wearing, and hits it. Well, when he hits it, it depresses it, throws down this like it pulls down a pulley, pulley that which... triggers some rocks that like adjust it, and then like triggers this, like, swinging arm trap that has a spike on it and just impales it. I was like, how did they set this up in such a, what seemed to be a short amount of time? Yeah, like, this is... Like it was needlessly complex. Okay, one, the fucking rogue probably didn't know shit. Conan definitely didn't know shit about making traps. So now we got a wizard. Like, what? Yeah. Okay. And it, sh- it clearly showed in the preparation scene that Conan was putting this shit together, not the wizard. Mm. It's like, and How did you just, how did, uh, Motorhead die? Oh, Motorhead, he just fucked up. No, no, the spirit. The spirit helped him out, and then he actually slayed him. Cause, oh, that's cause right. Because Motorhead had the axe. Yeah, so Motorhead is, like, getting the better of Conan pretty good. And then they give they give Lady Barb a nice funeral. She burnt, you know, like a Viking funeral. Well, she shows up for a moment, like, gleaming, like a gleaming Valkyrie, and then Motorhead's like, oh my god, and then Conan kicks his ass. Well, the whole time, like, what's her name, the... The king's daughter is being tied is tied to a, a, a rock because that's the only thing they got we, out of whatever. the heap last time. So James Earl Jones knocks another snake and shoots it at her, and the, rain, but the, the rogue the rogue fucking... uh, hits with the shield, 
And it doesn't turn back into a snake. It's just a fucking rigid snake arrow. And I'm like, what? It turned into a snake before. Maybe because it didn't hit a human target? Well, like, when it hit a human last time, it was rigid until he pulled it out. And he pulled it out, and then it turned back into a snake. Yeah. And I was like, this is insane. You know how much that would fuck with somebody? Oh, yeah. Jesus, fuck. So they try, you know, James Earl Jones tries assassinating... James Earl Drew. James, James Earl Drew tries killing... <laughs> Uh, what's her face? Who cares? And then she she immediately realizes, oh, he doesn't oh, give a fuck a about me. Like, oh, he has that realization. So that fight scene's over. They have a moment, and then he doesn't. Conan goes back while there's this big gathering going on and sneaks up behind J- James Earl Druid, and he <laughs> sees him at the last second. And James Earl Druid has another big speech. He's like, yes, uh, because I made you what you are. I am your father. Yeah. And I'm like... It was... Yeah, it was basically that. Like, it, yeah, it was basically that. You can't kill... It, like, I love it because, like, I don't know if it was just part of the act, but Conan's, like, sitting there like... Conan's like, oh, oh, I guess that makes sense. And then he cuts his head off. And he's like, oh, I know it doesn't. And he cuts his fucking head off and kicks him... And throws the head And then throws downstairs. his body down the steps. Because he's on this big upper area. It's like a story down. And when he throws the head down the steps, dude, it sounds like a fucking, like, oh, like it's helmet. Like a skate belt or yeah. skateboard helmet. Like, oh. Because it, it definitely didn't sound fleshy. And so, uh, yeah, they that happens. Uh, he sets the temple on fire. And he rides back and he gets his reward. And it's and the it's, first movie ends. It's, it's just... It's pretty good, and then they just go, and then uh, Aku closes it out, uh, and then goes, uh, "This is the story of uh, of what became of Conan the Barbarian." Mm-hmm. But, so, what was your favorite scene in the movie? <laughs> he turns into a fucking. Snake. It's a pretty fucking good one. <laughs> I, I don't know that that would. I think. It might be just just the fucking uh, the part where he just fucking throws and dumps the entire like it leads in from the snake the snake but where he just dumps, dumps the, the soup. fucking soup just I'm like that's that's exactly what you should do. It was so that that's one of the scenes that I wish we could have done face cam because my react my face all the time was like what the fuck is he trying to what is happening to James Earl Jones. What the fuck? Oh god, he's a snake. What the fuck he's just a snake, happened? Snake man. It's like, oh god. It's like, <sighs> oof. Okay. Now I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those. I, I gotta love this. Like, mine comes right after that. Mine was the snake arrow. The very first time he uses the snake arrow because it's just like <laughs> he picks up a fucking snake that's on his shoulder, whispers, seek, seek, and then like. Runs his fingers along it and he turns rigid into a fucking. I was like, "What the fuck? Like, oh my god! Like, there was no magic in this whole movie. No, and there then, was magic in the resurrection, but it's just like that. Ha- yeah, it was like, magic was, isn't abused to a point where it's like zap, zap. That, but it was zap. like there was no, there was no magic for the first half of this movie, and then the last half was like magic, 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 snake arrow. Fuck yeah! I was like. <sighs> Oh, oh, all right. He oh, turned okay. into a snake. Okay. Just, just remember that Darth Vader's fucking voice turns into, turned a, snake, into a snake. Turns into a snake. Goes into a snake hole. Yep. Fuck yeah. Oh. I don't think there's much else to say about this. this oh my god, that's that's fucking ridiculous. The snake. He is a snake. Oh, oh that's it. And then Conan the Destroyer. Oh my god. All right, so. This one picks up where fucking Conan and uh, supposed to be uh, the same thief uh, are are sitting by an altar. And first of all, so first of all, the thief looks nothing like the original actor. And isn't even the same ethnicity, by the way. Doesn't even have the same facial hair. Doesn't sound like. Doesn't have the same hair. Like they didn't even try. This guy just. Counting jewels off to the side while fucking uh, Conan's fucking uh, praying to to Krom, I think. Yeah. 
No, it's just... Well, you know, the, the Rogue... The, the new Rogue wouldn't be that egregious until a scene that happens later. We'll get in, I'll, I'll tell you when that happens. So you can go along... Oh, you mean, like, every scene with him? No, no, no. <laughs> so... But, like... These fuckers show up when he's praying. And, and they, have, they have nets, right? I'm like, oh, okay, what are they going to do with nets? And the fucking rogue you know, no, is like, the first The first instance. He's like, oh my god, hides underneath the altars and swallows Gemma. Like, okay, first, now you're you're automatically, your first, your first action in the movie is basically, yep, you're nothing like the first one, because the first one was kind of a badass. He did shit. And it's not even like a question, because this is supposed to be another story of Conan. But the thing is, is that they later reference things that he would not know unless he existed say. through the first movie. Don't fucking call me. So they just gotta show up with nets, and they try to capture Conan and Rogue Man. Well, they get their asses handed to them. Yeah, and like, then Miss Lady Pants on the horse walks up and is like, "I can give you what you desire." And what they, is what you this, desire? This has they have a scene where basically Conan's like thinks what he wants, what blah 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 blah. It's a thing just to get him to go along with the quest, but it was like. I can bring why back your you, love from yeah, the dead. I can bring back your lover. But it's like, why didn't you just show up in the first place instead of the, the, sending a bunch of dudes to just get slaughtered? Which, in my opinion, would just put him on edge for some random fuckface to show up and be like, ah, oh no. Oh no. So, they go back to her kingdom, and they're going through the bazaar. And this is the one point where I was like, this is the one point where it's like, why even bring this up? Because this isn't the same rogue. This is a completely different actor. This is a new guy. There's a camel. And he's, he's like, like, he's like hey, eating on the side of the road. Yeah, he's like, something. doesn't that camel look familiar? He's like, oh yeah. And then Conan apologizes to the camel. And, and the camel spit, spits sorry. on him. And he punches the camel again. He's, Fuck yeah, two for two. And he's like, yeah, fucking punch those camels. But it's like, wait. This is a completely new act. Like... You could have done this easily. You could have been a completely new actor, new rogue. Conan could have been like, oh, I recognize that. It could have been Conan that said he recognizes the the camel. It's like, but I gotta no, apologize. The rogue did. It's like, what? Then he wouldn't, he wouldn't fucking know. And it's so fucking weird. Yeah, so anyway, they go on. Because they acknowledge him. And he, he even acknowledges later on. It, oh, fuck. It's, it's really weird. It's like this. So they go on to the main antechamber. And she's telling him about the quest where she he needs to escort her daughter to a place to get a gem that only she can touch. And then that gem has to go to some other place, place to, get, to a horn get a treasure. To, that she can only touch, blah, 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 blah. Well, then you hear some screaming and she runs out of the room. And... The daughter's... Uh, Will Chamberlain is there. Oof. Which, for you who don't know, is a basket, former basketball player. He's dead now. He is dead. He's seven foot fucking one. So he dwarfs over fucking uh, Arnold. He's six foot twenty five. That's it. He's six foot twenty five. Yes. So uh, she's talking. And she's like, "Oh, you need to go to sleep." And she says, "Sleep." So, so oh, she has magic too. Cool. Oh my god. Yeah. I just realized that's what uh, Wilt from Foster's Home is based on. Yeah. Holy shit. So, uh, she tells Wilt Chamberlain because I can't remember his, his character. It's like Mambu. Ma- Mom. Mumboofer? No, that's not right. Anyway. That's, it's definitely that. Yeah, it's Lufa. Not... It's Lufa. So, no. <laughs> it's Wilt. It's so, Wilt Chamberlain. So Wilt Chamberlain. She tells like, hey, once you get all these items, you can go ahead and just kill him because we don't need him around. And it's like, okay, so they're, they're betraying. But it's like, also... He's like a room away. It's like, yeah, the way they made it seem is he's just a room away. So, like, why are you speaking, like, on a normal tone and not, like, a whispered tone? Okay, fuck it, whatever. So they go along, the daughter's with them, they're going on the journey, they're going on an adventure. Well, they get to an impasse, and she's like, we gotta go this way, because I'm in, you know, she's in charge, like, no, no, we're going this way. But she's like, I'm in charge. She's like, no, no, if, if we're fighting magic, I need someone to fight magic with. So yeah. So they go find Wizard Man, who's currently... know where he is. Mm-hmm. So they're, who's currently being That's, abducted, oh. who's about to, who's about to be roasted <sighs> over Jones, fire by, by um... uh... Oof. Primitives, Oof. and they're they are black people. They with, it, with like ash on their face. One is not black. Yeah, which just makes weird. it not racist. I was like, it well, was this weird. is this but is yeah, they have like ash. They have ash on their face. Like 
some like the, like the pygmy tribes in like what is it Australia who like eat the cannibals like they'll use like ash and they'll it's like okay that's a weird obvious route anyway whatever and the rogue saves uh, the wizard the old wizard from the first one from the thing and he's like oh you you don't have much meat on you it's like he knows him and it's well no 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 but he says the the wizard says you don't want to eat me I'm I'm you know I'm old and sour. And the no, wi- the, yeah. Then the, the the rogue goes. The rogue says, "Oh, you're too old and sour." No, would... the wizard says that. The rogue says, "Oh, man, they should have washed you too." Oh yeah. But it's it's weird. So anyway, so they find the wizard man, and they go on. Um, the whole time, the lady pants, evil lady pants, is a secret guarder, also like a little bit behind him. Yeah, Will is just like. Yeah, he's also Will. Will Chamberlain has this weird weapon. It's like a it's a morning star with a with beak a... on it, which is weird. It looks kind of sweet though. So they're going along. They ride, ride through this village, and there's a a lady there, uh, who has a spear and she's like chained to a log. And it's one of their pot pass by towns. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And they're like, what? Uh, the the daughter's like, what? What's that? She's like, well, she was abandoned trying to raid the village, so. Before we kill her, we're going to have some fun with her. And she's like, we'll save him. And he's like, no. Nope, thieves need to be need to be killed. <laughs> and then she just rides up to uh, to Conan, and she's just like, Conan, Do save him. No, she save her. They That's save Zula. her. She, she, he just go, she goes, do something. So he walks up to the hor- with his horse and just cuts her chain. And then she proceeds to kick everyone's ass. Is pretty sweet with her with her fucking with her staff. with her staff and she kicks everyone's ass. Then she grabs a horse and rides rides away. And so she the main him. the main party is going along and they stop and they see her following her. So Will Chamberlain goes over there and it's, like, said it's a pretty insignificant scene because she's just like yeah. But basically, yeah, I'll truncate it. Basically, yeah. uh, she's like, I want to follow you, and Will's like, no, no, fuck off. And they fight for a little bit, and then uh, Conan shows up and is like. I want to follow him. He's like, Dot, all right. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, that that's basically <laughs> that's, that's the, the tr- most truncated thing I can do. So they're going along, and they find a river, and across the river is this tower. It's a wizard tower. It was a lake. Oh yeah, you're right. It was a lake. Sorry. It's like a... In the middle of the lake is the wizard tower, and they're like, "Oh, we'll rest and go in the morning." She's like, "I want to go now." Go now. And she's like, like, "Nope, no. we're resting. We're going in the morning." Okay. So they go to sleep, and during when she's sleeping. The wizard in the tower transforms into an energy falcon, flies over, grabs her, picks her up, and brings her to the castle. She doesn't wake. Nobody else wakes. And then, yeah. Then, uh... Uh... Wizard man wakes up and is like, Wow, oh, Conan, over there! And she's like, oh. I know how she was abducted, too. Well, he's like, Do you know what happened? And he does some weird chanting and stuff. He's like, Oh, she was taken by a, a beast of smoke and blah, blah, blah. So they ride off over there. And... They get to a door that they can't open, which I thought this is where the rogue dude was going to be handy. Nope. The wizard, again, like finds a secret entrance underneath. So they swim underneath, go in there. They're in a chamber. Is he part elf? Because he found a hidden door. <laughs> Fuck off. So they go in this hallway. Well, there's a room with a gem in it. And then and only Conan, Conan goes like yeah, only, five feet yeah, in front Conan of goes around the goes in and it just closes really slowly where anybody else could have just rolled in but no fuck that no, that's too much. and this dude in this red robe walks out and circles area and like there's like a bunch of bunch of them in the mirrors and they and all they, they all combine in one yeah and it turns into a shitty monster I'm like it's just like oh this is kind of a neat scene you know like all these rogues come out at once and then they all collect into one and it's like oh this is gonna be really powerful this would be really good. And he throws off his fucking hood, and this looks like a shitty fucking rubber mask. Yeah, it's really... Sh- and they use, like, lion growls to really make yeah. it sell. It's like, so, oh, God. They're fighting. Uh, Conan's getting his ass kicked, kind of. Um, Conan tries to swing a sword at him, but it goes through him. Um, they're fighting some more. He has bear man tits, he but except bear man sometimes t- he has red yeah. tits. He has, like, just bear man chest, and, like... But the rest of it is besides the tits is like scale. Yeah, and then like underneath his right arm is scale, but like the top of his arm is still scaly, but underneath is whatever. Then Conan accidentally hits one of the mirrors and shatters it and the beast reacts, so he goes along shattering more, the beast fights him, blah 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 blah. Shatters some more, and so there's two left. 
and he's like, there's two left, and you, wizard, are behind one of them. The and other one being... The other one being the rest of the group. So he, he puts he grabs his sword in his hand like he's going to throw it, which he's done before, which I think still looks stupid, but whatever. And it looks like he's obviously going to throw it through the, the friendship one, but he doesn't and kills the wizard. The friendship one is my <laughs> favorite one. So the wizard dies, everything shatters, the girl wakes up finally. Because she hasn't been awoken this whole time, which is weird because it's been really fucking loud. That was a long, boring scene. It was kind of, yeah, it was kind of drawn out, like, it was super weird. Anyway, so they find the lady, she grabs the gem, the place starts crumbling, and they take a long-ass way out. Well, they finally escape. Fine, they're back on land. And then they go along, and this is where they find, they've got to find the horn. They walk into this, like, rock area, like, we've got to go on foot, and so, like, whatever, so they go through this little crack in the wall, and leads them into this chamber, and there's this giant fucking door. Just huge. And so Arnold tries is lifting it by himself for a little bit. And then he yeah. asks Wilt Chamberlain to help him lift it. And it's like... And then the rogue's like, hey, I'm gonna help. No, he didn't. The yeah, rogue's, he did. No, the rogue's been a bitch this whole movie. He's like, I don't want to do that. And so no, Conan... He, he, no, Conan said, you go in there. And he said, by myself? Yeah. He, the rogue has been a little bitch this whole movie. No, but he, he, he asks to help. And he's like, see, I'm helping. And then he's just like, Conan's like, no, go in there. And he's like, by myself? Yeah. And he's like, he's, he's like, oh, yeah, because he he's, he's trying, trying to help lift the He's the, the obvious gate. family Disney movie comic relief. Yeah. Just like, you need to leave. And yeah, so he he's helping lift the gate, which isn't fucking happening. And so he goes underneath and hits the lever to make it stop so it doesn't go down. They all get yeah. inside. Miss Lady Pants puts the uh, the gem in, and this fucking or uh, this once she's putting the gem in, the wizard man is reading this the prophecy, and basically says, um, if uh, you, if you attach the horn back to the dead god, shit's fucked, yo. The lady's gotta get sacrificed to do it. And then, well, he she puts the thing on, and this mouth of fire opens up, and he goes to Conan and goes, Conan, in. The, the prophecy says, he's hush, like, and he's like, hush. It's like, what the important. fuck, like. This is important. He goes, it's not right now, later. It's like, this is important right fucking now, dude. No, it's not. Not my concern. So, the lady walks to the fire, unharmed, because, I, whatever, right? And she grabs the horn. They have the horn out. Cool. Quest completed there. Well, they go back, and they're walking out, and there's a bunch of people that get surrounded. And they're like, give us the horn. It's our property. Blah, 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 blah. The mm. wizard is like, we know the prophecy. And they're like... Yeah, we know the prophecy. It's like, well, you know, if you get the horn, it's going to summon the god and it's going to kill everything. You're like, yeah, but we can control him and blah, blah, blah. And the wizard's like, no one can control him. And so they run away. And so they they fight for a while. Fight, 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 fight. Will Chamberlain is fucking people up. Conan's fucking people up. The rogue gets a kill or two in there. Um, he's, he's gotten a few kills. He's but he's just bitch, like, eh. It's always, it's like the twin dagger, like, combo, like, in the yeah. kidneys or, like, in the face. You know, whatever. And so, they go back in the main chamber where that fucking big door is, and they... Yeah. Wilt Chamberlain is also, you know, is a bad guy, so he's trying to fuck up over Conan. So he hits the lever to make it drop again. Well, Conan realizes it and lowers and rolls underneath before it's too late. Yeah. Well, the enemy wizard, which you find out, he clangs his bracers together and the the army, like, or the, the people are like, oh, they back up, and he's doing his magic, and he's raising the door. They're like, oh, God, what do we do? And so the, the Mrs., Mrs., uh, uh, the da- Miss Girl, da- Daughter Pants, was like, oh, I saw a broken area in there, it's a secret passage. So they go in there, and they close the mouth, and Wilt Chamberlain and her go onward, while the other three are left behind. And the mouth is closing, but the wizard dude, the enemy wizard dude, shows up again, climbs his brace, and they all back up, and he starts using his magic to open it up. Well, good wizard goes. There, goes there's only one there's way, only way to do fight. This. Only fight a wizard. So he's sitting on the ground, like chanting. And as soon as it opens up, and he sees him, the enemy wizard like grabs his chest, or whatever, and it starts going down. Cool. That was neat. And like it, he grabs his face. And he's well, like, the, f- the first time he like he doesn't do anything, but he like he lets go, and then he opens it up. And then he, like, they lock eyes, and then he grabs his eyes, and, like, the thing closes all the way. Which I thought was really cool, because, like, normally in a wizard battle, you see, like, lightning, lasers. It's laser blasts. You know, shit like that. Is, like, yeah. This was so just subtle, because it's like, 
oh, a normal person wouldn't know what the fuck is going on, you know? It's just two wizards exerting <laughs> magic on them. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of neat. <laughs> they were shooting mind bullets at each other. And so... Telekinesis. Yeah. <laughs> Will Chamberlain and Daughter Pants goes on. And then, like, Conan's not far behind. He's like, hey, I'm gonna help you. And then he fucking... Wilt Chamberlain like, turns around like, hey, fuck you. And just hits, he hits the ceiling. He hits ceiling. the ceiling with the, with the beak Morningstar and it caves in and he runs away. And, and then they find it. Then they find a hole in the wall. <laughs> and they, they they crawl out, which is weird. Whatever. They break out. They and break like, out. Horses. And they have their horses there. And they're Conan. like, we got, Conan's like, we got to go get them to stop the problem. Blah, 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 blah. And the rogue again is like, we don't have, who gives a shit? That's not our problem. Blah, 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 blah. And they're like, Conan's like, who will go with me? And Zula, Zula said she would go, and the wizard man said to go. So they ride off, and the rogue was like, I'm not going to do it. And then he hears the people, the enemy people, like, showing up. He's like, they're like wait, for, chaka, wait, wait for me, chaka, guys. It's like, chaka. oh, my fucking God. I saw that coming 200 miles away. Like, oh, my God. It's, it's so bad. Yeah. How it's, much of, like predictable comic relief he is. It's, it's like, kind of disgusting. Like, this is dumb. I don't want to So then it here. cuts to uh, back at the kingdom. Everything's going great because they have her. Um, the evil wizard lady slips something in the drink that he gives, that she gives her. But we're not sure what it does because she doesn't pass out right away. She and doesn't kill like her. Poison because they're gonna kill her anyway. The only thing I can think of is it made her more complex. I, I don't fucking know. Anyway. Gets her fucking wasted. So Sh- wasted. So that shit's happening, and you know that that thing starts happening. They put the the horn on the beast, and then and Merlin like, Keemstar like, is, uh, is is conducting the ritual, and he's like, "I'm gonna stab this." It's bitch. like it's as soon as as soon as there's any life in there, you gotta kill her. Well, then Conan and crew show up. Well, Conan and Will Chamberlain fight each other. They, they find each other like, oh, we gotta fight. And then, like, he, she tells the other one, like, you guys gotta go to save go her. Go ahead, I'll take care so of Will. They go on, they interrupt the uh, ritual. Fucking Zula just, like... Zula throws her fucking spear from a hella distance and just perfectly impales the dude in the chest. The, Which I get the, it, it's a movie, fucking, it was fucking sweet. Yeah, he impales, like, fucking Merlin Keemstar. Just, yeah, it was fucking sweet. Um... Stops the ritual. Shit's going on. So basically, because if you don't kill her, while the, while that's happening, the the god loses his shit and becomes uncontrolled and starts killing everyone. Yeah. Which starts happening, and you think me and my my pal here were like, "Oh god, man! Like this is this is this, where it's gonna look bad." They got the look, rubber mask, like, dude. Oh god, I hope this is not the rubber mask. This looked hot, terrible. It didn't. It looked pretty sweet. Like even like it holds up a little bit. Like I'm not saying it's oh my god perfect. But it was way better than... Definitely better than the, the fucking paper mache yeah. mistake in the first one and the rubber mask that we just it's got been, treated yeah. to. It was pretty sweet. I like it. It looked really cool. This thing had, like, a giant fins. Like, it reminded me a lot, if you've seen the one, anime One Punch Man, Deep Sea King. Kind of reminded me of him, but, it, like, less old buff. old fins, beady, like, bug eyes, and then, like, a fucking rhinoceros horn, but then, like, its mouth... It was like a vagina. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And the first person this thing kills is the evil mother lady, and he fucking rhydons her. He's just fucking like horned dead. And gores are just dope. <laughs> so that happens. Uh, Conan kills Will Chamberlain. Yay. He comes in, and he's holding an axe and a sword. He's like, where the fuck did he get the axe? But it's like, oh wait, movie, who gives a shit? Yeah, who gives a fuck? He yeah. just grabs weapon. So they start fighting big bad monster, and they're they're like cutting it, but it doesn't seem to affect it, which is cool. I like that effect in in movies, yeah. or even video games where it's like, uh, or role playing games, like yeah, you're hitting it and you're doing damage, but it doesn't seem to phase it because it's like oh, you feel good because you're doing damage, but, but you also not. but you yeah. also feel the weight of like oh, this thing's a fucking monster. Cool. So they're kicking its ass, sort of. It's striking back, almost killing people. Um, then, through the battle, uh, Conan jumps on its back and starts giving its horn a slight handy. No, but he, yeah, he grabs it and starts, like, ripping it back, and it's like, it doesn't look like anything's happening for, for, like, 20 seconds. It's like, this is weird. And then he finally tears the thing off. Yeah, it slowly yeah. tears the it's horn kinda, out. It's kind of gross looking. It's gross as shit, but it's so well it's, done. It's pretty good. So they tear the horn off, and 
it it doesn't look like it's gonna die right away. We're like, oh god, we're gonna fight it, and then it falls over dead. And the rogue, being a little shit, walks up and stabs it. And he's like, "Look, I helped." And it's like, "Fuck off!" It's like I did it. I'm like, "Easy, fuck it." Ah. And so the movie goes to the celebration of uh, Mrs. Daughterpants taking over the kingdom and being a good ruler. Then she, then she offers people jobs. She offers Zulu the the uh, head captain, and she's like. The why, wi- why can't a woman be the head captain? It's like, that's cool. And the wizard's like, I need someone wise at magic. She, yeah, she's like, I want someone wise, so you'll do. And then the thief, she's and like... And she's like, and every, ki- every kid of him is a jester, and he's like, he's, as he's walking up, he trips, and like everyone's like, ha ha. He's like, do I meet the qualifications? And she's like... You're overqualified. You're overqualified. And it's like, oh my god. It's like, this is fucking... They kill me. And then Co- she's like, Conan, I need, a, I need someone to rule with. You want to be my... And he's like, no, I will find my own kingdom and blah, blah, blah. It's and like, my okay. own princess. And so he walks off, and that's when the movie ends. And but again, that is a- another story. And then Aku is at the end again. He's like, he says all this stuff. He's like, and he did find a kingdom of his own and blah, blah. It's like, but that is a story for another time. Right. And it ends there. It's like, that's neat. But that, that was, movie was not very good. Yeah, overall, it was it was a good, I liked it. But yeah, it, it had a lot of issues. What, what was your favorite scene? <laughs> I, like, oh my god! Uh, I like the the fucking. I just like the fighting the fighting the goddamn like the, the, the vagina monster is fucking great Gross. for me. Just like the fact that he like ripped off its fucking horn and just kept fucking stabbing it. I was just like, this is great. This is absolutely wonderful. Like, nothing really, like, that big stands out. But, like, I love that he just ripped off the horn. I love that that was the way to destroy it. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. I don't know why, but I liked when he punched the camel. Yeah, punched the camel. <laughs> it's like, it was oh, and he punched two horses, too. Oh, yeah. So- sort of. He didn't punch them, but, like, it's when he grabbed the dude's net and they... Both the horses got No, he, he took a chain and he whipped them. That, that was in, uh... Wasn't that in the next one? No. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it was big, thick chain. Yeah. And I was like, why? So, he, punches, he punches the camel. I was like, okay, that's a funny nod to the first movie. I like that. It, I wish it was Conan saying, hey... I wish they did it better. Yeah, I wish they did it better because like, hey, Conan, doesn't that... Well, camel look familiar, and he apologizes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> then the camel spits on him. It's really gross looking too, because it's like so white, and he just punches the camel again. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, that's so great because it's just so like. Please punch more four horse beasts. <laughs> yeah, four legged. Just like, but why are you punching these poor four legged animals? Why are you pa- pa- punching these pachyderms? Like, why? No, fuck you. <laughs> but it, it's it's just so funny because it's like, if that was if that would have been the only comedy in the movie. I would have been so much happier because, like, all the other comedy, quote unquote, it's, the, it's, the, it's a fucking thief. is the thief kind of just being a dick, just being a fuck around. I think that the comedy should have come more from like the wizard who barely got anything. Yeah, the wizard, or even the the uh, Zula, the the black lady. Mm-hmm. It would have been nice if she would have cracked a joke and be like, "Oh, that's cool." But no, it's kind oh, like of a shitty made, rogue. The the shitty rogue who he's a source of jokes, and jokes happen to him. Like when but they're he's not try- good. When he's trying to hit on Zulu, and he's like, no, no, you're really trying to be a fucking prick. And it's like, honestly, if you took him out of the movie, it wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been that much different. Like, literally... Would have been better. The only thing... I don't that, think it would have increased its writing. The only but. thing you could... Like, the only thing that would have drastically changed, I think, is who pulled the lever in the, the horn dungeon. Which, uh, it could have been, what's you her could, name? You could have been like a girl. You could have been like a girl. Or Zula, she could have just rolled underneath and been like, oh, I found a lever. Click. Done. He was, I gotta say the rogue was probably the worst part of that movie. By a lot. I like Zula. I like the Zula, she was cool. I like I like her just, her spear throw and just fucking complete annihilation of Merlin Wizard Man. It was pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, it looked a little dumb because you could see. You, it's it's one of those throws you know is like green screened in, and they're like, "Ah, this is flying." And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. but I don't care. It was sweet because it's just like, oh, and he's dead. He is a corpse. Sweet. It's like, yep, yeah, no, that's right. I mean, I don't think there's much other to say other than like, the rogue is the worst part of that movie by a lot. Yeah. Then that the dumb, the dumb wizard. 
It's tough. He was standing behind the mirror, but, like, why did he have to stand behind the mirror? Yeah. But whatever. And <laughs> shitty rubber mask. Oh, God. Like, okay, that is movie. so egregious, too. It's like, okay, shitty rubber mask. Oh, okay, sure, maybe you didn't have the budget for it. Fine, I guess. That's kind the of... same budget as the first but, movie. But you then, later in that movie, show you can do way better with the fish monster thing. Like, what the fuck happened with this shitty mask? What... What happened? Like, are you shitting me? Why? I had to pay for more glass. Oh, that makes sense. I don't want to talk about this movie anymore. It's, 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 some parts are just really upsetting. It's just like, oh no. So the remake, the 2011 remake with Jason Momoa. Yeah! So Definitely the, was. The first time, basically the opening scene is his mother getting cut in battle and he, him literally being born on the battlefield. The really weird CG fetus. Yeah, it looked really. Well, it's like he's a baby. He's not a fetus. He's a baby. He, he's he's still in the womb, isn't that so considered a fetus? Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. So it's like is it's it's gross. really gross looking. Like, ick, ick. It's not even like, oh, this is just unsettling because it's inside. It's like, no, it's unsettling because it's gross CG. It's gross, and when they when he gets pulled out, yeah, when he gets pulled out is the worst. By Dad Perlman. By Dad Perlman. Awesome, by the way. <laughs> He has a sweet ass Viking beard. Fuck yeah. But yeah, he just has a like the CGI gross baby. Ugh. Well when when it's in the womb, it's CGI. It's fine. Yeah, and it's then fine. It's in the CGI. Womb. And then it's like when he pulls it out, it's like that's that's completely made of rubber. Yeah. Like that is grossly made of rubber. Cause if it was Uncanny Valley, I could be like, okay, that's just Uncanny Valley, it makes me uncomfortable, but it's not, it's just gross. So I don't want to linger too far at this point. So Gross baby, though. Yeah, gross baby. So, it cuts to their village, and baby, uh, young Conan is running through the, through their whatever, and Ron Perlman's giving a speech to the young kids, like, doing all this, doing a speech, and giving them an egg, and it's like, what? What's the matter Oh, it's the training, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Conan runs in there finally, gets in there, and he's like, I thought I gave you chores, dude. He's like, you did, I got them done. And so he's like, whoever brings, whoever circles the mountain first, and or punch. hill, and yeah. has the egg intact, it, gets yeah. a train of the warriors. And young Conan looks all upset. Boo. He's, he then gives them an egg. He's like, well, get going. So they're running, running, running. They're, they're, you know, they're fucking each other over, like, tackling them and hitting them to make sure they crack the egg. Fucking smashing them into fucking trees. Like, yeah. Oof. So, what some of the guys notice, um, Enemy barbarians. Aborigines. Oh, sorry. Let me rewind a little bit. The whole plot, the whole, the whole reason this starts here is because the plot before was this dude, uh, there's a helmet made of bones of kings. Yeah. And whoever controlled the helmet had crazy amounts of power. Well, the barbarian tribes kicked his ass, shattered the helmet, scattered across the world. Each barbarian tribe had one piece. But there was a prophecy that said eventually one someone will come searching for them again. Cut to now. So, uh, they're running around. There's, ba- yeah, basically Aborigines, it looks like, um, the, with the, raptor sounds, which is fucking they're, weird. They're like orc people. Yeah. It's just like, wow, that's really not sensitive. It's not even, it's not, even not sensitive. It's just like, it's weird. Like, why are they basically orcs? Because they make weird raptor noises, like dinosaur noises. It's weird. Their faces scrunch up like orcs and urukai. And so the other kids run away. Well, Conan ain't no bitch. So he runs up and starts fighting them. And it's pretty brutal, actually. Like, the one, he. I, I remember he grabs the one dude and, like, slams him against a tree and his just head, like, goops. I love that. So, I oh, think gross. I think one of the greatest part of that one is it was that he, like, slid between someone's legs. Grabbed a rock on the way and then slammed a rock into his kneecap. Oh yeah, so, that was rough. Ugh. So that scene happens and it cuts to them him walking back to his village and they're all giving him weird looks. You can't see it yet, but he's holding all the heads, all the four the, their head, the four of them. And he walks up to his dad and drops them on the ground. It's like wow. And then he spits the egg out. So it's like first, so he killed four dudes without breaking the egg. Dope. Dope, bro. And then Dad Pearlman. 
go. They, he's like, we're going to forge a sword. One day the sword will be yours. They have a nice scene there. It's kind of cool. It talks about the, the sword and its philosophies. Blah, 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 blah. Cut to a little further. Um, McFuckfaces start invading the village. Kind of like the kind of like the first one where people invade the village. Well, they come in and they start killing fucking everybody. And then Evil Man, uh, who is Stephen Lang. The bad guy from Avatar. The bad guy from Avatar. Um, has me. He's like, I know you have the piece of the of the helmet. Where is it? And blah. So he's looking for that. And he's like, not beating him yet, but he's, you know, he's being a dick. Well, coming in and jumps out of nowhere. Cuts the tip of this dude's nose off. And not, what, not even just the tip. like Just one of the lackeys' nose off. The big fat man. Yeah, big fat man. And, like, it's probably a good quarter inch of his nose. And it looks gross. And they capture him and they kick his ass. And his do- the Stephen Lang's daughter's there, who's magic, basically. And she can sense the... Charm. Who gives a sh- Yeah, she's the... she's pa- I believe she's Paige and Charmed. Um, not the first time I've seen her. Yeah. She was in Grindhouse. She was Cherry. So, and she's like, anyway, she's magic. And she can, like, sense the shard of whatever. So she finds it, brings it to her daddy. And he he goes to dad pro and be like, well, you don't fear death, pain, blah, blah, blah. Like, what about the death of a love? Anyway, he tells his goons to light the place up. Oh, yeah, sorry. He has a, uh, they're in the forge. And above him is a thing of molten iron. It's a crucible of molten iron. And so, like, if he moves, it tips. If he lets it go, it tips. You know, stuff like that. So he, like, tips a little bit. Like, you know, like, pours molten light on... Or molten steel on him. It burns him. It's, it's kind of cool. And then he makes Conan hold the chain. And basically, you know... It's and like, they cut his, like, his Achilles Yeah, they, they, they cut the, the da- uh, Dad Perlman's leg. So it's, it, it's not impossible for it to stand, but it's really fucking hard. So, like, young Conan is bearing all the weight. Yeah, and so they're burning down the village and whatnot. And Stephen Lang walks away, and Paige grabs his the sword. He's like, "I like this sword," and walks off with it. It's like, "Oh, it's just to kind of reinforce that they're evil, you know, just to make sure." I'm gonna take your shit. Yeah, and they have a scene there. And he's like, "Dad, I can't let you go." He's like, "I know that, but it's okay. You can walk." And so uh, he pulls the all the molten molten steel and just splatters all over him. It's like, that's a fucked up way to go. Like, Jesus. But young Conan now has, like, really bad burns on his hands and some molten steel on his face. And that's where... Uh, he gets a sword, not his dad's sword, but a sword. And he screams to the heavens and it cuts there and then it cuts to, like, 20 years later? Yeah, it's not And it's that. grown up Conan. Jason Momoa. Hanging out with his black friend. Hanging out with... God, I can't remember the dude's name. I'm Artist. sorry. Artist. Yes. Yeah. Artists, which is cool, and they're like, oh, why? They're basically he's a pirate, he's a thief, you know, he's con- he's done all these things to make a living, and he's made up with these guys. Artists is cool. He's freeing the slave, and yeah, slave so, colony. Yeah, they go. He's like, why are we doing this again? He's like, no man should live in chains, and they fuck up this whole area. It's pretty sweet. They have like boulders run run down. They fuck up this whole area, and. They free these slaves, and there's some women that got some big old boobies. I mean, like, big. And Damn. He's like, you are free, you can go. And they're like, where do you expect us to go? We, do, we have no weapons, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I, 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 I know where you can go. <laughs> and he grabs, and like, the two hot women. Yeah. Like, him and artists grab, like, the two hot women. And they start the marching, and they go to a city. They're partying. A party town? Yeah, they, they, they start partying when I'm drinking... Banging, you know the, the usual thing. <laughs> Artists and uh, Conan are having an arm wrestling contest, and uh, Artist is about to win, so Conan spits beer in his face or mead, and then Artist punches him in the face, like, "Oh, I still won!" Perfect. So these guys come in. There's a guy, and he has an eye patch on. It's like, "Oh, he's probably important." And then these guards walk in, and one of the guards is Fatty McFatface with no nose. Um, and so Conan obviously sees him, is like, "Oh." That's important. He finds the the dude who they're looking for. He's like, "Hey, what are you, what are you running from?" They're like them. He's like, "Do you want to go to prison?" He's like, "What if I do?" And so they 
get, they both get captured. Or he, he's like, you take that one, I'll take, and then he's, the guy puts his, a guard puts his hand on his back. Yes. He's like, I'll take him. Head, just back head butts him, kicks his ass, walks up to him and goes, yeah, I'll, I'm your prisoner now. And the guy just looks at him like, what? What? What the, what the what? fuck? So they go to a prison colony, basically, and Conan is obviously like, he wants to be here. He looks calm as shit. And he goes in this holding cell, basically. And my friend here said something that I didn't, like, register right away. But Conan is everyone not chained to the wall. Yeah, like, there's all these, like, people, like, they're throwing food his way. And they're like, oh, yes, yeah, so they're chained to the wall. And they're like, they have a short leash. And he just, they just let him sit there with no chains, no fucking, like... Handcuffs. No, he had he had chains yeah, on his arms. Yeah, but, but like, that was it. So it's and like, then he gets up and starts walking towards like, hey, 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 he's moving. Stop him! Stop him! It was just like if he, he just kicks his ass. Kicks her ass. It's just like, wh- and he's like, "Where's the captain?" And he's like, "Well, he's in the room." Or sorry, before before he kicks his ass, he's like, "Where's the, where's the captain?" And I was like, hey, "Everyone gets their chance." It cuts like a thing of him torturing the the dude with the eye patch, which the guy. I forgot to mention he had an eye patch. Sorry, the guy has an eye patch. The the, the dude with the eye patch. The he's guy. torturing him basically with like the thing that crushes like your hands slowly. And he's like he's there. Everyone gets their turn. And he gets up, kicks his ass. He's like, oh, he's in a room that he'll only unlock for me. And Conan smiles. Cuts to that room. He hears a knock. He's like, guards, open the door. Like he's oh, he's like guards open the door. Yeah, he's he's fat, and they open up like, the little like peak door and it's the dude and the guy opens the door and it's Conan holding the dude's head and he headbutts the dude with the dude's head and then proceeds to kick people's asses in there lets the the eye patch man go starts interrogating fat face fatty McNo knows and he's like do you know who I am and he's like no he's like I'm the Samaritan he's like oh and he's like I'm looking for the man who killed uh my father. And it turns out it's Stephen Lang's character, who at this point is like a legend. Yeah. And he's like, like I didn't, he didn't kill my dad. Uh, a bandit, bandit killed did. it. He's like, he was a bandit. Now he became a god. Blah, blah, he's blah, blah, a blah. lord of the shadows. Yeah. And he's interrogating him. Oh yeah, he also takes off the, the, he has this weird like leather thing on his face that's protecting his nose wound. And Conan takes it off and like sticks his finger in there. And I'm not sure if it's pee or it's but the yeah, pus it, it, it the cuts nose. it cuts down and like there's like liquid coming down and my friend here thought it was pee but my thought is like maybe it's the pus and shit because it's like it's still like an open wound I don't know why it hasn't like scab whatever why didn't it scab over I don't know that's it's gross. weird um and he's like if I give you information will you sprout he's like I will not kill you he's like cool gives him all the information he's like you said you wouldn't kill me and you know he grabs a key off his chest, forces it down his mouth and starts it pours me down there and makes him swallow it, basically. Brings him outside and tells everyone, he's like, uh, he's like, you, sa- you said you'd spare my life, he said. And then Conan goes, I said I would not kill you. And then he tells everyone, The key to your freedom is in that man's gut. gut. And then throws a dagger to the ground and they, this guy just gets torn to fucking pieces. Is pretty sweet. It's butt fucking time now And uh, Conan. The... The dude with the eye patch you find out is a thief. Um, he's well known, I guess. He's like, I'm. I'll, if you ever need help, I'll be in this town. Blah I'm blah. I'm pretty blah. good at picking locks. Call for my name. Yeah. So it's like, okay, that's neat. Probably, st- gonna, probably gonna see him later in the movie. More establishing comes in with the fact that uh, the bad guy Lang um, is trying to find uh, pure blood. Well, we don't know that yet. He's, he doesn't know that. He he's trying to find a a girl, a girl, girl. He's just of going the to monks. find a girl of the monks. But all all fat face McNo knows gave him was like he's going to be in this area. Yeah, which he's like he goes to the monk area, and so yeah, he goes to the monk area, and see, uh, and Lang's just sitting there on there like not yet. Yeah, no, he goes in there. No, not yet though. Oh yeah, the monks. So the monks are there, and the, like the the old monk dude is like. Uh, See, like, doing a scene like you can see in the future, basically, like, seeing people's future. Yes. And the main lady girl, Tamra, was like, what else do you see for me? And he has this weird, like, blank look. And then that's when Lang's people show up, start fucking everything up, and the monks start fighting back. 
and the head monk dude's like, you gotta go, you gotta leave this area. He's like, she's like, no, I will not. She's like, if you, if you trust me, you gotta go. So she leaves. Lang, Lang actually shows up, but it cuts to the the carriage that she took off running down. Well, it has the like little. It has a symbol. It has of it has thing that it has Lang, Conan's yeah, village. It has Lang's symbol. Conan and Conan's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck that carriage up. So he goes on, gets on top of the carriage, breaks in, and is like, "Wait, who the fuck are you?" And she's like, "Who are you?" And they didn't. She's like, "I don't know who that guy is." It was a big scene, kind of neat. Uh, one of the dudes who attacked Conan's village is coming after him, and so you know he ambushes him, and they're they're doing scene, they're going whatnot. This one I think could have been truncated a little bit because like it seemed like it's a really long horse scene, a, a, a really long carriage ride. It seemed like it could have been cut down a little bit at least. Chain whips two horsemen, two <laughs> horses. He, yeah, he he's on the ground and he just picks up this thick heavy chain. Like the chain links have to be like three inches in, in diameter, and just yanks it up and just bitch slaps two horses. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> And two dudes fall off, and he then captures a. Uh, the one dude. I can't remember his name because who gives a shit? Um, I don't know. Ollie. I'm going to call him Ollie. Sure. That guy. Um, then it cuts to the the monk village and Lang's like, where's the, the lady at that I'm looking for? The pure blood. And his the page is like looking for him. Like, she would like nick him and like taste their blood and he's like, nope, not you. And then she would kill, kill him. Like she would kill him. She disfigured one. She kills she disfigures one and kills one. Mm. And she's like, none of them are pure blood. And then Lang shows up and is like, where is the person at? And the, the main monk, he starts talking to him and is like, they'll never do the way with this. Never! Yeah, it's like, that bloodline has ended forever. We we are peaceful, you know, blah, 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 blah. And basically the reason Lang wants uh, revenge like this is because these people burned his wife back then because she was a witch and she used dark magic. Which, I mean... Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, I guess. I mean, still shouldn't burn people, but fuck, I don't know, whatever. whatever. You shouldn't burn people, but you just, also shouldn't just, murder people. Just, just chop their head off, right? Burn seems a little, little much. Yeah. Um. Then the monk guy uh, says, like, that's why your wife will burn forever. She's away. He Stephen Lang grabs the dude and just slams his head against the the steps just the a couple marble, times, marble steps. It's and like, the bam, guy's bam. just fucking corpsed. I was like, Jesus. And then they, obviously they find out someone ran away in the carriage, and it's like, oh, that must be the person. Ollie will come back. So, He'll yeah. be good. So it cuts to them, and he has Ollie tied up, and the uh, Nick Lady face Tamara. 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 I'll see you tomorrow. It's <laughs> like... I don't know who this person is that you're looking for. I don't know why he needs me. Blah 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 blah. blah. But I don't need him, and you, you. So he's, he's like, oh, okay. He's like, will you help me go to where I need to? He's like, no. no. And she's like, well, I'm just going, going to go on myself. So he ties her up, and some shit happens that night. Not really important to the story. Um, except uh, Ollie is awake. He's like, as soon as as soon as he wakes up, I'm going to kill him. But I want to make sure he can see. Me. I want to see him in the eyes before he do, before I do it. And so the next morning happens, and they're talking again. And he's like, all right, again, lady, tell me why Stephen Lang wants you. And she's like, I don't know. And then Ollie pops up, she's a, she's a liar. She's the last, she's the, a pure blood of blah, 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 blah. And she's like, no, that bloodline's extinct. And Ollie's like, uh, Lang will give you her weight in gold and whatnot, right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. So he goes to a meeting place, and... uh Ollie's like, see, I told you right where they are. Uh, I will deliver the message for you personally. And Conan's like, yes, you will. Straps him to a goddamn trebuchet and catapults his ass into, into their the- land ship that they've been towing with them. Fucking sweet. They're like, oh god, what the fuck was that? And, <laughs> Stuffed in his mouth yeah, is page. a message written on the cloth that she wears. Yeah, and, Paige, and wears. Paige was like, well, it looks like he's back. I was like, funny. But it's a message to meet him at a place. Well, Stephen Lang shows up, obviously. And... Yeah, he was Paige, like, Paige shows up as yeah, well. He, she doesn't, she's not there right away. But yeah. she is there. But Stephen Lang's like, here's your gold like you 
like I said, he's like, I don't want your gold. He's like, well, what do you want? Your head. You know, he's like, well, lots of people have tried that. And so they fight for a while. Um, he gets a nick on him, which is cool. He's like, that was your one chance. You won't, you won't get another one. And, yeah. uh, they fight, obviously. And then, uh, what's her name? Paige, uh, poisons a blade. Yep. And throws it at him. And nicks him, and he's all poisoned and shit. And, and then she he's, summons he's, sand warriors? He's, he's, she, she nicks him, like, later on, but, like, she summons oh, yeah, she sand said, warriors. Oh, yeah, she summons the sand warriors first. Which are weird, because it's, like, this weird fucking fight where she gives him, like, this weird supernatural enemy to fight, and it just... I don't know, so it's Conan a very So Conan kicks weird. all their asses, who kids shit. Yeah, but then she, then she poisons him. Yeah, then she blade, poisons him and nicks him. Throws it, nicks him, and then he's like, I can't fight Lang, he's gonna kick my ass. No, well, he doesn't do that, he's just like, they just run away, he doesn't say anything, though. Yeah, he doesn't say anything, but he's like, ah. So they run away, him and Tamara, Tamara, he throws a, like, a torch on his tar, that just fucking explodes. Which is fucking great. Which is, why is that there? Okay, whatever, who cares. Then they jump off a goddamn cliff. Because the, the, his pirate artist is there, and they swim the, swim away to safety. And then on the ship, you know, they have some moments. They're talking about what they need to do and whatnot. It's it was kind of neat. Yeah. And then uh, on deck, he's like, uh, artist is like, uh, barbarians. They're called barbarians, but they're not always like that. They're like, he's more faithful than a bloodhound. All this stuff. He has a king's heart. He's like, he doesn't betray people. Or sell them into slavery, like some of the civilized people. And then uh, Conan goes, "You're dressed like a harlot." And she's like, well, "That's that's the one that you've ever met." And she's like, uh, "Sumerian women uh, dr- dress like warriors. Give her the leather and armor." And the artist is like, "I think he likes you." Yeah, I think he's good. And so that good that night they go to sleep, and then they get attacked. Um, that night as well, or that morning, that dawn. Shanghai. Yeah, they get Shanghai. And another one of the guys that attacked his village, this big, uh, big dude, I can't remember his name, he's like, been in other stuff. The, uh, he was Mark, like, Mar- no, it was like Rob Sibbs, it was like a real, real simple name. Yeah, um, the dude, uh, Kowalski in The Longest Yard, the, and big, also, the big dude. And he was also Frankenhood. Oh, God. So, <laughs> um, they kick ass, obviously, like. Uh, some people on their side get killed. Nothing, nobody important though. Their big, the big fight scene that's important in this ship battle is the Frankenhood battle. It was pretty sweet because uh, what's her name, uh, Tamara, is trying to learn how to use weapons better, and so she goes to throw a dagger and comes like, like no! no, 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 and it goes like right next to his head, and then she grabs like this big hook sword and swings it and misses and it be- embeds it in like a post. Well, Conan's like oh, and just rams this dude's throat into it and kills him. Oh, yeah. And they have a big celebration. It's like, oh, that was cool. It was neato. Um, he tells him, hey, he, uh, Conan tells Artis, he's like, hey, I gotta do this, bring her somewhere safe. It's like, okay. So they duck, he, Conan walks off. Artis looks at, uh, Tamara and is like, hey, he forgot his map. We should go bring it to him. We leave at dawn. We leave at dawn, just letting you know. And she's like, oh, so tomorrow brings him his map, and they talk for a little bit, and then they fuck. He brings well, him the bones. Season titty, you know. Oh yeah, and so we f- they fuck. Um, the morning happens. She starts walking back to the, uh, to the ship. Well, they get ambushed by Paige, and she they, she gets captured, obviously. Yeah. And Jason Momoa was like, <laughs> starts Conan, who was Jason Momoa at this point, is like, ah, oh. which also. You get a an ass shot of Jason Momoa, and it's really, really muscular. Like, it's like holy shit! Like I was, I'm not gay. But I was like, that was just, I was not expecting it to be that muscular. I don't care what you guys say. Fuck you. He like flexes just a little bit enough <laughs> yeah. to be like, ah, ah, I was uncomfortable with that much ass. Like, God damn, that guy could probably crush a watermelon with that. Hey, I don't care who he's. I, real, real PSA though. I don't care if you're straight, gay, whatever. You can say another gentleman is is handsome. Fuck yourself. But would you Chris, say his Chris, ass is intimidating? Chris, Chris Hemsworth is a handsome gentleman. You can say a dude's ass looks nice. Fuck you. All right. Back to the movie. Jeez, that was a little insecure. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can totally do it without dick. I am not gay. Whatever. 
Fuck yourself. Anyway. Cuts to uh, Conan. Well, Conan started walking. He's like, oh no, she got captured. I gotta go save her. Yeah. So he goes to a si- the city of thieves. To and find he's like, hey, I want Eye Patch Man. To find Eye Patch Man. And so he walks into a bar and he's like, I'm looking for a thief. And the bartender's like, there's lots of thieves here. Eye Patch Man. And he's man. like, I'm looking for Eye Patch Man. And he's like, who are you, Barbarian? To say the name. And he grabs his junk. Like, no exploratory questions, just grabs the dude's. Bam! Just grabs the dude's business. And then Eye Patch Man uh, pops up. He's like, "Hey, this guy would uh, tiny is just as soon as he'd kill about you know whatever defuse the situation." He's like, "I trust this man with my life. Let him go of the dude's balls." And then Conan's like, "I'm here to you're here. I'm here for you to repair that debt." He's like, "Oh, let's go talk somewhere." Basically, he needs him to break into Stephen Lang's castle, which yeah. is highly guarded. Blah 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 blah. Breaks in. He's like, oh, "All right, I don't want to do this." So he goes. They go in. They get to the first lock. He opens it up with a key, which I don't know if he has a skeleton, whatever, maybe, whatever. He goes in, and it's like an underwater type area. It's not underwater, but it's partially submerged. He gets to the second door, he's like, is there any way I can talk you out of this? And he, Conan opens the door, obviously. Then Eye Patch Man gets grabbed by some sort of uh, kraken creature, dragged under. Conan goes in there, cuts its thing off, and they swim for a little bit and go up into this, like, jail. There's people in cages. And another fuckface that was from the village. And he's like, oh. And then the the fuckface evil dude from the village is like, oh, we got more people for the, the dweller to eat. Yeah. And he drops a cage in the water and this big tentacle comes up and grabs it. And then it starts the, the big, big, big scene. There was a big fight. There was a big fight scene there. It was kind of cool. I don't want to say much about this fight scene because it's, it's really cool for people just to watch. I can't quite do it justice. Um, it was really cool. They wind up, you know, obviously winning. Um, so they escape that area. And they go to, like, this terrace. And they overlook, and it's these people walking towards a cave. And then uh, Eye Patch Man was like, Well, I don't see no locks down there. And Conan's like, Your debt has been paid. And he bolts, and so Conan goes towards this cave, obviously. And it's shaped like a skull. Cool, evil people go towards skull caves, obviously, duh. Yeah. And so. He gets there, this is where they're going to do their ritual, whatnot. And basically, to do the ritual, they have to fill the, the mass with the blood of the pure, pure blood, whatever. Uh, they get so there, they start good. doing it, and Conan, I don't know where he got it, but who gives a shit, is like in robes, and he interrupts the ritual, obviously. Well, he doesn't, he gets there, but he doesn't interrupt it. Like, they get the blood in it. And also, like, the mask looks like a butthole. The butt, there's like a butthole the bottom. Yeah, you can't, that, that, you, that can't dr- you can't escape it. It looks like a butthole. It looks like a butthole that, and it drinks the blood. Super weird. Then he puts the mask on. It's all weird and gross. And so they fight for a while. The the lady's like, she's on like a wheel. Gets knocked down. It falls and falls. They fight on that for a while, which is, it was kind of cool. And then they finally freeze her, and he's fighting Stephen Lang again. And uh, Tamara escapes. He's fighting Stephen Lang. Um, making not really making any headway. I mean, they're fighting, but nothing's really happening. They're just like deflecting b- blows. They're like bang, bang, bang. Yeah. No, no blows have really been struck. Yeah. Then it goes to Tamara and Paige because Paige finds her, and they start fighting. And it's um, that. And it's just kind of like that cat fight. fight it was, it was a little. It was a little more than that because it, like they actually they had they more dialogue. Like, they looked like well, they also looked like trained fighters. It wasn't just like hair pulling and stuff like that. It yeah. looked like an actual fight. Yeah. Um, Stephen Lang and uh, Conan get separated um, and right before Paige is about to deal the killing blow to Tamara which also is weird because they still need Tamara I, but then again I don't, maybe they don't need her alive I don't maybe they just need her body I don't know I don't know at this point um, Conan grabs her hand chops it off and kicks her out of a yeah he kicks a Paige out like ah, fuck and then she falls and falls and lands on a like she lands on it, yeah, like a post for the chain. And just dead. It's like, that was kind of neat. Um, so they start escaping because shit's starting to crumble. And then Stephen Lang walks upon the scene and sees his dead daughter. He's like, Barbarian, I'll come for you, blah, 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 blah. Um, they're on a bridge at this point, And I don't know why, but fucking Tamara falls. Like, maybe it was Ricky. I didn't quite see. Maybe it's probably fucked up. And so she falls, and he has a chain that she was attached to, and he's like, trying to pull up with one hand, 
and still like keep his grip because he has like his sword embedded in the ground. Yeah, and he's you know wrenching her up like he's like doing that motion where he, like wraps something around your hand, but still bring it up. I guess it's yeah, and that and that you you kind of pull it up that way as you keep wrapping it around your hand. And so Stephen Lang walks up and he's talking and he's doing things like calling the the spirit of his dead wife to infect, I guess, for lack of a better term, or possess, I guess, possess uh, her body. And she starts changing, and she's like, drop me, Conan, I, I can't stop, and Conan's obviously not going to do it. And this is also kind of a weird scene, but... So, Stephen Lang walks up, and he's like, uh, there's no shame in kneeling before me, I said that to your dad, and I told your dad I would become a god. And then Conan goes, like my dad say, god or not, you will oh, fall, yeah. and stabs like the, gr- the, the boards in front of him. And he just falls. Like he it's the most amazing. It's thing. weird because it doesn't look like he tried to catch himself. He just falls and plummets into like this lava that's been you know the area got yeah. cracked open, and he falls and dies. And Tamara gets better, and then he oh, gets geez. her all the way up. They escape, and she's like, uh, they they ride away, and it's like she's like, oh, thanks for bringing me back to my home, or to my new home, or what? I think she's a new home, and. He's like, yep. She's like, can I convince you to stay? And he's just like, oh, well, until we meet again. And then that's where the movie ends. Yeah, it's... Oh. I, I like this movie, but there was just some weird... There was just some There's weird There's a lot scenes. of weird choices. You could have truncated it, shortened it a lot down. I wouldn't say a lot, but there's some... Like, you probably could have... Because it was what? Two hours, something like that? An hour. It was two hours, ten minutes. Like, I, I think you could have cut it down to an, an hour fifty. Yeah. Like, because there seems like that's... There were some scenes that just seemed drug out. Like, the carriage scene. Like, there was a big carriage chase. Like, that seems like it could have been a lot cut down. Maybe from a cinematography point, I could be wrong. I am not a cinematographer. It's, I'm just some asshole on the internet. Yeah, what do, what do we know? But, yeah. you know, whatever. Um... So what was your favorite scene in this movie? My favorite scene in this movie, I think, was just kind of, I think, seeing Ron Perlman kind of, like, struggle with that that forge. I know it's not, like, the most badass thing. It's just, like, that... Just seeing that is much, I think, much more tragic than just having, like, the... Yeah, his mom dying is pretty tragic, but, like, it's a he lot... He wasn't alive for that. Yeah, he also wasn't alive, but, like, he Maybe. was... He was there to see his dad fucking tragically die before him. And it's not like he, he could do anything to save him. Yeah, there's literally nothing it's like, he could do. holy shit, that's hard. Yeah, it was powerful. And, like, yeah, it's a fucked up way to go. It's molten steel being poured on your face. Like, I don't think you would, like... Again, I'm not a doctor. I, I, I don't think it would kill you instantaneously. It'd probably kill you in probably five, five or ten seconds. But that's still five or ten seconds of blistering agony. You would you would be like, like that's that ten seconds feels like a goddamn yeah. eternity. Like that's fuck. That's rough. Oh come on, man! That sounds like a fun time. Yeah, man. Um, so that was your favorite scene, just from like a pure like power powerful point. Yeah, I, I think that's it. Because like a lot of the action scenes, I wasn't too like enthralled with I guess more over, over like any other Conan movie I was just kind of like sitting there and I'm like eh I'm not like seeing any good sword play everything else is ah clang clang gotcha you know there's not really anything I'm like oh dude this is my blood pumping shit I'm just like eh yeah exactly I know what you're saying um I think my favorite scene I'm not gonna go I have two scenes cause like I Go ahead, dude. I don't, want, I don't want to talk about the one. It's the the fight scene with the dweller, because I, I thought it was yeah. a, I thought it was really cool. I don't want to spoil it for everybody because like I, first of all, I can't quite do it justice because I'm stupid. It's, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's, yeah, there's a lot. There. There's a lot going on in the fight scene. It's just really cool. It's kind of tense. Um, so that's my favorite scene. So if you ever do watch this movie, that's my favorite. That's by far my favorite scene. My second favorite scene though is like when he hits the dude with the severed head. It's just so fucking weird. It's it's great. It doesn't sound like a bike helmet, so that's yeah, much better. It, yeah, it looks sounds like actually an actual head. But yeah, he just like opens the door and just like clocks the dude with that. It's like that's huh. Yeah, no. All right, no. that's using everything to your availability. Fuck, cool. That works. But I, I do like this movie a lot. There's just I think I still think it's way better than the second the, than Conan the Destroyer. 
I do not. So, I, with I, that I, being said, how would you rate the movies? I, I actually like still action rating it wise. I'd rather watch the reboot. Uh, second, first, I'd watch the Barbarian first, the reboot second, and the uh, Destroyer. Destroyer last. Just because I fucking can't stand that fucking rogue. Can mm. you shut the fuck up? Yeah, I agree. I think I think the first movie, The Barbarian, is really good. It sets up the whole arc. It's well done. The reboot is really, I think, is really well done overall. It's a nice movie. It has some pretty sweet action action scenes. And then, yeah, The Destroyer seems the, the most lacking out of all of it. Like, I honestly think... It's There's some neat moments in it, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, I kind of got some blood-pumping moments, but just like, you need to shut the fuck up, Rogue. Like, that, I also think it's because it was PG. Yeah. Or was it PG-13? No, it was PG. So, like, you can't quite do everything... But still, like, I don't know if that's a good enough reason. I think the yeah. first one's rated R. Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's titties in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, the, I think the rogue really kills it that much for me. Like, it's just so, like, whoa, wanky, it's like, oh my god, just fuck Wake up, off. guys! Like, it's just so, like, okay, okay, I get it, you're the comedy relief, but fuck off, dude. Jesus. Can you not be here? Like... He, he's a rogue, but he plays the part of the bard of just hiding off in the, in the sides. I'm like, you're you're a shitty rogue. He's just like a greedy coward. Because like in the in the th- in the uh, horn room, there's a jewel that he's trying to get off the wall. And even when they like when they get back in, the second time when they're running away from the enemy, he's trying to do it again. I'm like, I he's just I get such, it. He's it's such a, a joke, yeah he's or... just such a one dimensional character with nothing. That's it. That is his character. Humor and thief. That's that's it. That's, Nothing else. This is. He's, he's there for the kitties, bro. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. It's like, why are you trying to attract the kitties, though? Like, nobody cares about the kitties. Don't make a sequel for them. Make a sequel to people who want our action blood pumping. Yeah, awesome. it's kind of like in uh, Mad Max 2 where it's like, look, it's a family-friendly movie. But the rape, though, guys... The rape. It's but, like, dude, no. we got the wacky side character. We got the wacky side character. It's like, no, but the rape. What are you talking about, Willis? Yeah, but it's like, this movie, it's, but it's like, oh, look all this cool violence. But we got the wacky guy. <laughs> oh, that was, that was bad. I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, way to clip the audio, dick. But no, it's just like, it's this fucking wacky. Wacky. It's just so, ugh. But I can't. Although, yeah, overall, I still really enjoyed watching these movies. Um, oh yeah, just so you guys know, we also watched Red Sonia, just because we. I my friend it. here thought it starred Conan, so we're like, "Oh, it's a Conan movie. We're gonna see it." No, it's just a fantasy Arnold setting. Arnold Schwarzenegger is there, and he's basically playing Conan, but it's a different character's name. It's like Arland or something like that. And uh, it, it, to be fair, Red Sonia takes place in the same fictional time period that was established by Conan the Barbarian. But it's garbage. Just let you, just let you know. Just in case you want to. Just, just in case you want to know. It's not a it's not a good time. Yeah, it's, whew, it's a... You hated the, the co- obvious comic relief? Well, you'll hate this Disney film, essentially. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Ooh. But, I mean, I don't think there's else to say about, much about these movies. So this is a... It it kind of killed me. I, I think Red Sonia was kind of like a real big, real big dip, and then we just had the reboot, and we're like, oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, because like, we got we got like twenty five minutes into Red Sonia, and he's like, oh, this isn't one of the movies. Do you want to keep going? I was like, fuck it, why not? We're already like, because it's only an hour and like thirty minutes or something like that. An hour twenty. Yeah, so it's like we're already like a fifth of the way through. <sighs> oh, let's just fucking finish it. Whatever. I regret finishing it. I, I regret it. So, uh, but, yeah, I it. so this is a Petty Officer Fallis signing off. And a Jernogger going again. Um, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Stop. Ugh, I Sonya. I hope you enjoyed that uh, at least a little bit. I have very strong feelings about not really wanting to release it but i thought in the spirit of being fair 
I thought I might release projects that I've been holding out on and trying not to edit for. This got corrupted at first, and, well, uh, I found some uncorrupted portions and uncorrupted files of it. So, as far as that goes, uh, quite a lifesaver. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy, have a good day, and uh, less archival footage uh, content coming out, but still archival footage coming out every once in a while. I just hope you can enjoy it while you can. Bye.